Everybody, let's go dumpster diving. Do, 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 do. We gotta be fast as lightning. Do, 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 do. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cristiano or Triple T, and if you're new here, welcome. So if you're not new here, you've noticed that I've been MIA a little bit recently, and I'm so sorry, I apologize for that. I am getting married in October and a lot of last minute things have been popping up left and right. So I've been trying to take care of all of those things before the big day arrives. And I took a little bit of vacation down in Florida with my family. So I've been, you know, traveling and getting a lot of stuff done. We are back and better than ever, jumping in those dumpsters. Last night I went diving and I found a lot of fantastic things. So stick around and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Pet store dumpster. Dog food, which I'm sure is cut open. If not, I'm gonna grab that. <gasps> what is that? I think that's like a little house or like a litter box thing. I'm gonna grab that. Oh my God, that is so exciting. Yay! Bath and Body Works dumpster. Mm. Yeah, nada. On to the next Ulta dumpster. These are good. Hair ties. A brush. Mm-hmm. Is there anything I can put this in? Look at that. Some makeup. Perfect. All right, let's keep fishing. Hmm. I don't know what this is, but we'll clean that off. This device we will also clean off and try and fix it. We've got a palette in not bad shape. A hairbrush. Hmm. Squeeze tube. I don't think, I think it was punctured. Oh, this one's good. What else do we have here? This one we can sharpen and clean off. Empty. Dumped. Ooh, this one's not in bad condition. The best things are perfume. Ooh, I actually think this thing is still in here. So we're going to take that. The hair ties we can clean off. This is for your nails. So 
I'm gonna probably just take that and clean it out. Mm, this one's good. Pacifica, salty weight. Mm, this one's good too. Perfect shine. All right, and that's the best we could do here. On to the next Ace Hardware Dumpster. They are throwing out these pools. OMG. These are nice. I wonder if I can get them in my car. And then over here. Looks like Bath and Body Works over there. And a hose. So. I'm going to see if this is anything. It sure is. All right, I'm going to take this. Oh, there's a wallflower. Two of them, if I can just reach it. I surely can't. All right, I'll need to get my grabber for that. Anything else in here? Nope. I'm just gonna grab my grabber for those. And I'm gonna grab these pools. Red at Path and Beyond dumpster. Hmm. A pillow. That can be cleaned off. Ooh, look at all those goodies, K cups. Yes. All right, let's grab this stuff. It's in there. Pretty good score. A ton of different K cups. White pillows. And that's it in this dumpster. Pretty good score. Pet store dumpster. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Is that a tree house? I think so. This is a fantastic score. And so is this. Yes.
we did pretty good at this dumpster. Woohoo! This is what we got at the Ulta dumpster. So it's quite a nice score. I do love all of these items that we found. So let's start over here. We got a black opal eyeshadow palette. These palettes could be cleaned off a little bit more. The majority of the dirt is actually on the cover and on a little bit over there. But this one is a ColourPop palette. Beautiful, gorgeous. We've got some Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Fix. I think it's like a setting spray. And these, you know, they didn't dump out and they're brand new. It's very lovely. We got four of these brand new Morphe testers. If you open them, you'll see they're not even tested. They're just a little dingy from the foundation that was poured into the box. So we've got, I think they're concealers, all different shades. We have another Morphe um, brush cleanser, I believe. If you open this as well, it's brand new inside. If I can open it for you guys. Oh gosh, opening something with one hand is quite difficult, but I think I got it. Let's show you the brand newness of this. Yep, brand new. There's the brush. Gosh, I can't show you the cleanser. It's under there though. Okay, then we have a Too Faced Killer Liner in this plummy shade. It was used, I believe, but if you sharpen it down quite a way, it should be just fine and disinfect it. Then we have this Dermalogica Exfoliant Powder. We have some Sally Hansen Nail Rehab Charcoal Resurfacer. That looks interesting. We have this Perfect Shine Oil Mist for your hair, brand new as well. We've got some Pacifica Salty Waves Texture Spray, which is also brand new. We've got this brush that you can put on a uh, face mask because it is rubber. I guess you can also put like your foundation on with this too, but it wouldn't really work that nicely. So I think it's for like a face mask. A pack of hair ties. They were all filled with foundation, but you clean it off and it looks brand new. We got this Derma Flash Mini. It is all of these razors. There's some refill. I'm not sure what this item is, but I'm going to look into it because, hey, I got the refills, so maybe I should get the product. <laughs> then we have this hairbrush that I had to clean the foundation out a little bit better with some Q-tips, but um, it's nice. And then finally, we have this lingerie. I don't know how to say it, but um, it's a hair straightener. It was cut, but I am going to put it back together and it should be brand new unless the foundation ruined the actual product, but I don't think it did. I cleaned it off pretty well um, instead of running it underwater and getting it into the actual electronic part. I found this in the dumpster a few times, so I think this is like the fourth time I found this specific iron. So I'm not exactly sure this might not be a good iron because people keep returning it. Anywho, this is the whole score from the Alta dumpster, and I'm so glad I could save it. This is what we got at the pet store dumpster. So we got actually six of these, but my two dogs got a hold of the lot. As you can see, this one already is missing an ear and has some bitten bone over there, over here too. Um, they destroyed the other two, but we have four left and they love them to pieces. So I'm so glad we found these in the dumpsters. And we also got that huge cat tree, which my cats are really enjoying right now as well. I I'm not going to show you it because it is pretty messy where it's at, <laughs> so I don't want to uh, scar you with a glimpse of my mess. <laughs> so anywho, we got those from the pet store dumpster and I am beyond stoked and very happy we could save that from the landfill. This is what we got at one of the pet store dumpsters. So this was the little um, like cat tree thing. So there's a little hole inside, they can go and sit in that ledge or they can climb up here and I can put like a little pad on the top. Super, super cute. I thought it was for litter, which honestly I probably could put like a litter box on the inside over here and just remove that bottom piece cause it slides out. And it would be so cute and hidden. This is such a gem. I'm so glad I could save this from the landfill. 
this is what we got at the Ace Hardware dumpster. So they had about 12 of these plastic pools. I took only two. As you can see, they're just one on top of the other because I know other divers are around me, so they probably would get a nice little treat when they found the pools left there. So I took two because I have two dogs and I have a four-year-old. So I have a Husky and a Pomsky and my daughter. So two pools is perfect. I can't wait to try them out. And there's that slide in it, so cute. And that's a really great score. So this is what we got from Bath and Body Works. It was found in the Ace Hardware dumpster, which is next door to Bath and Body Works. So they were kind of hiding the goods in their dumpster because nothing was in the actual Bath and Body Works dumpster. But so we got this one harvest gathering candle. It's just broken, but not melted. Um, you can depot that and put it in another container. And then we also found a wallflower, which I put in my wall already, so I don't have it to show you the refill. Um, but yeah, so even though it's just one candle, it is better to save it than for it to end up in the landfill. This is what we got at the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. Pretty good score, if I do say so myself, a ton of coffee. So we have these two green bags. I believe they just make your produce last longer in the fridge or on the counter. And then we have four of these nice white pillows. They don't have any casings on it, like decorative casings, but um, you can always find those or just to use it as white pillows. <laughs> we have one of these Chico, oh, I think this was the Spanish side. The other side is in English. It's just a base for a car seat in the car. Then we have one of these burst automatic water pick, like flossing machines. I just need replacement heads for it, but we have the charger and everything that goes with it. We have a Rogue K cup that got missed over here that I will just put back over there. <laughs> All right, so then we have a soap dispenser. It's beautiful. It's glass. It's blue. Gorgeous. I love it. And then we have all of these K-Cups. We have 23 of these Green Mountain Breakfast Blend K-Cups. Two of these Rogue Miscellaneous ones. We have some of these Cafe Verona. They're not K-Cups. They are some other machine. And then we have a bunch of these Starbucks Nespresso Virtuo machine K-Cups. And I have been dying to get myself a Nespresso. And I think maybe now is the time to do it because look at all of the K-Cups. Well, not K-Cups, whatever these are that we found. So we have one in Veranda Blend, one in Columbia, one Sumatra, and a few other Sumatras, as well as an Espresso Roast. This was a really nice score from the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. And if you've been following me for a while, you would remember that I found this princess hamster house or like rodent house. And it is absolutely perfect. As you can see, the castle pieces are there. Everything is inside the wheel, the water, the food dish, the tubes, nothing is cracked. And if you look in the corner in that little pile, we have a little mouse there and we did not actually buy this mouse. One of my cats caught a mouse and he was still alive or she was still alive and not hurt at all. And um, I could, didn't have the heart to kill it. So we saved her or him. <laughs> I call him Pedro and Eliza. My daughter calls her Minnie Mouse. So clearly she's a boy and He's a girl, <laughs> even though that's not English. He's a he, she. I wonder really what gender this mouse is because I'd like to know as he or she is in a pink castle. Anyway, the little mousey is loving life, eating his little mouse food and living in his little soft area. And he runs on the wheel all the time. And my daughter really, really, really loves this little guy. So. I'm very happy.
so glad I could save this beautiful, beautiful hamster or mouse house from the landfill. <laughs>